Good day and welcome back to the Curious Run Pedition. It's time to continue on with our explorations with Roald Amundsen. The plan is to go to Yalompani Water Temple's Grasslands because it's full of temples and that sounds good. We bought it for this information so we're definitely doing that. We lost our claim because last year we got we got screwed over because we failed to get those freaking uh, flags. So we got told to explain some lands better than none for the young empire, but the Empress of Mashmechistan did not seem to remember me at all. I wondered what got me to help her in the first place. So now I remain empty handed. Um, we can look for instruments this time around. Sure, we can do that. We could get cultists, but no, we got enough people. Uh, we can purchase equipment. We got 120 cash. What do we got? Grass uh, wait, I think we want a bunch of machetes for this. Um, we could do with a little more whiskey, I guess. Uh, what else? What else? Um, do we want to grab some torches? Bullets. I don't think any of these things are things we really desperately need. Um, we've got plenty of sanity restoring items and we've got a tent. So really, I think we're pretty good. What I might do is I might get a few uh, climbing gears. Yeah, that'll do. We can also we could also have improved some animals, but we didn't. And besides, Mr. Ari is already quite capable of carrying a lot of junk. So, you know, let's just hope the gym doesn't burn down too much and get going. So apparently, uh, I've done a little bit of wiki surfing now on this. Apparently, Jim is basically an upgraded Parsi trader. So we have, like, literally, he is as good as this guy. Oh, better than that guy in every way. But obviously, we can't get two gyms, so that's not that surprising. Uh, I'm going to leave this. Let's begin our expedition. First thing first. Hey, how about I use this trinket? And give it to Jim. Make him a little bit more loyal. Sounds good. And of course, Jim repays me by setting fire to everything. Okay, fine. I guess I will cope with this betrayal. And I guess we'll go this way. Okay, our first temple. So let's make Jim drink from the temple. It's a, a ceremonial chamber. It's got strange liquids. So Jim now has claws. Uh-huh. Okay. So that gives him... Wow! Hoo-hoo! Those, those are some very nice dice. Um, my bad? I guess this is kind of what we're going to get. We're going to get a bunch of buffing of our guys. Because that's what temples do. This makes going in here even more foolhardy. Because we're gonna risk a lot more. But we make it in, we get in, and now we can send our least valuable member in. And they still make it? Good, good. And what do you find on the other side? Skeletons and junk. Sounds lovely. And let's put that, that junk we found to good use. Do a bit of climbing, see what's up here. Hot springs, you say. Do we want to rest overnight? I'm not actually sure we do. Um, I think we just want to keep going for now. We've got so much stuff to restore sanity. I think I'd rather keep going. Let's ask for a bit of cleansing. And um, we can also grab some other things. Effortless movement. Definitely want to get that. Uh, mountain creation. Don't really want. Treasure map. We don't have any shovels, so let's not bother with that. Um, so, what we can do is we got only one trader? Okay, fine. I mean, we can we can deal with that. We want to grab ourselves effortless movement. That'll save our skins at least once. Um, and let's trade off... Now, this is too useful. Um, oh, we brought these along specifically because they're good for trading. Uh, let's also get some mini puppets. 
And is there anything else? A totem stick. Okay, let's grab that totem stick. Alright, that's all good. Um, well, maybe, yeah, you know what? We're gonna keep getting those puppets. It's a deal. And we'll cleanse James Sterling. So he's no longer gonna set fire to everything. Okay. And I can promote him. Wait, really? No, I can't promote him yet. Right. Okay. Because I need, I'd need more points. Yeah, I need three points to promote. And it will be Jim who gets promoted next, by the way. Because, you know, he's better than the other guy. So let's head down here. Am I mounted or not? N yes, I am mounted. No, I'm not mounted. But on the other hand, we don't have the capacity to not do that. So we'll just head down here. It's only 13 to get that far. That's so good. New region discovered. More points, please. Let's go down here and get a butterfly. And let's go over here. And see what we can find. It's a cave. Um, yep, we'll explore said cave. We'll explore in darkness. Because we're going to continue to risk things even though we shouldn't. And we found a light source, we found loot. Oh, look at these cans of food, we've got that. All right, that's great. Um, except that now we've got too much stuff. So. We haven't angered the locals yet. That's actually quite remarkable. Can't eat that yet. Let's use weather balloon. Ah, oh, right, so that also collects stuff for us. Yes, that's right. And the weather balloon again. Aha, uh -huh, oil camp. No, not oil, oil camp. Old camp. I can read. And Jim, be more awesome. Good, good job, Jim. Okay, now. Now we are this far. We can get to that village and we can trade some more junk. Talk to people. Enter village. Nothing unusual about our arrival. Let's start by trading. Hey, you know what we had a quest to do? We had a quest to get instruments. So, here's a terrible plan. What we do, we trade these back. Get the drums, they're good, they're useful. And we also want these horn flutes, which uh, we can get with a little bit of haggle. Yeah, that sounds great. So the other thing is we can sell off this totem stick. And what will we get with the totem stick? We can get jewels, which, you know, we kind of might as well. Um, we can't get the tusk. And if we were to get the tusk, we wouldn't be able to carry it. So that's probably not a great plan. Um, do we want to dump anything else off at this point? I don't think so. Yeah, we'll just do this. Uh, we'll also rest. And let's go with men are superior in this. Normally I would say both are equal. We've got a party of all men. We don't actually have any sexes. Actually, you know what? We're going to say both is equal. And then we sleep. We gain a bit of sanity. We lose a bit of standing. And uh, Jim says thank God for him. Very own brand. Good job. And there's a temple for us to head to. So we'll probably head that way next. But first, let's get this. Yeah, Master Dragonfly. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Next, we can get here. We, we travel so light in terms of um, our actual... Ah, uh, here's a shrine. Call to the touch. Investigate the altar. Yep, that's a piece we definitely need. So we'll take these things. We will anger the uh, guys that are after us. And you know what we're going to do now? We're going to use this scroll. Effortless movement. You know why? Look at this. Zero. To head all the way back here. Oh, we picked up malaria. That's that's great. I didn't anticipate that. I really should have paid attention because I could have used that. <sighs> okay. And that's just going to stay there. All right, we return to the ship. And now we access the ship storage. We can dump all of these things that we don't want to travel with. Um... And that, I'm also going to include, I need that moonstone, so I actually have to take that with me. So let's put, um, yeah, let's put the horn flutes in. I mean, we want them, 
they're good, but we'll do that. Okay, great. I'm gonna close that off. Rest overnight. Jim got a bit angry with us. He just shouted about getting... about losing hope. Sure, I guess. That's a thing, if you want, Jim. And now let's get back to our expedition. Okay. So, we kind of need to head down this way. And it's going to take more because now we got snow on the ground. And that just takes more to travel through. Um, but we might as well. The other thing I can do is I can use the Necronomicon. Oh, also I can do this. Bomb. Okay, see so that attracts enemies, but it doesn't really matter to me too much. I also can use this to get free scrolls. I wonder. Yeah, let's do that. Never read the text again. Never read the text again. Come on. Really? Alright, return to the ship and rest overnight. And now Jim gets more angry. Rest overnight one more time. And look, we can also use the bongo. And by the bongo I mean the drums. But this is meant to actually do something, which is why I'm, I want to use it and have it work. But it just keeps doing nothing. Well, fine then. We're gonna head up here. I'm gonna head this way. I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna be quite annoyed with everything. Is this worth the sanity cost? Almost certainly not. Explore the springs and rest overnight. Hearing loss. But that's meant to be good for you, damn it. Oh, yes, excellent. So that heals the malaria. Investigate a young native which we can't help. If we'd had healing items, we could have done something. We can't take him to the springs for some reason. Even though, you know, that would make sense. Um, we can cleanse Jim again. And we can, we've wasted a lot of time now. Yeah, you know what, we'll head down, cleanse Jim, and trade the Necronomicon. Because it's just not working for me. So you know what, uh, ask for cleansing, butter. So here, have the Necronomicon. I know you like that kind of stuff. Uh, and in which case, we're going to take some mini puppets. In exchange, because that will allow us to rest outside more easily. Tome of Dry Lands. No, I don't see the point in getting these things. Fertile Lands, maybe, actually. Um, yeah, we'll do this. It's a deal. And then we will cleanse Jim. And leave. So Jim's no longer bipolar. If only mental illness were that easy to treat in real life. And we'll head down this way. Hopefully this will allow us to, you know... Ah. Just says impossible region. Yeah. Ah. Well. You know that Tome of Dry Lands? That would probably have been quite helpful here. Okay, let's do this. Um, we are going to use the drums. And we're going to head this way. Okay. That hopefully generates land for us. Really hoping it does. What if I set up my tent right now? And I camp. Except that I think this won't work. So rest overnight. Pyro. This was... Oh, right, left click to use. Alright, one moment. Left click to use. Ah, right, enter camp. Rest overnight. Aha, uh -huh, there's the trader. Okay, now we pack up the camp. Take it with us. Stop setting fire to everything! Sir? Alright, so my plan has not worked. I guess we're gonna have to head down this way. Of course. It doesn't change things into land. It just basically opens up that area. Well, 
at least I know now. And we kind of need to head down this way, so what we need to do is hopefully find a path. Um, I guess we'll just keep going. There's got to be a way south. Let's check down this way. We can start entering that canned food now. Alright, we've got climbing gear, which will help with this. And that lets us see way further. Look at that. Grab the bongos. Eat as well. Uh, use a bit of chocolate so we can actually guarantee to get to the this place, wherever it is. No point in heading down over that ice if we don't have to. Even though this is very much a one-shot path, in fact, we've just cut off our path back to the boat. Uh, search the area for the gear that has been left here, and then we've got an attack crocodile. Which is fine, because if we head this way, we cut the path off behind us, because we're sensible like that. And now we can approach the trader and see what they've got to trade. Oh look, there's a bunch of treasure maps, don't care, but flutes, we needed more flutes. Uh, moonstone, sounds great. And um, waterfall creation, random teleportation. Um, yeah. Don't know what that will, I mean I guess that will create a rest spot, right? So let's see, we got those two, so like this is, and then we can, let's see what we want to trade. Oh wow, jewels are worth a lot here. Um, let's see, if we do that, we can, ah, no, don't want water. That is, that's a lot of stuff, isn't it? Also, we can trade off some of these. And then one of these, yeah, okay. Uh, let's uh, buy a little bit of loyalty, eh? Yeah, that sounds great to me, actually. Alright, so I got more moonstones, which fortunately do stack. We can gift a trinket to both of these people to continue to have them be happy with me. And we can have a fire started because that's just how this game rolls a lot of the time. Wow. Double shrine. Let's just eat as much of this as we can uh, and then examine the sh uh, beat the bongo as well examine the shrine okay this shrine we can get to with rope and it's gonna dry out the area and we can enter the shrine and take the stuff okay and then we can examine the other shrine this one we can also enter without rope and this is I didn't pay attention to what it does so we should probably do that also another fire Perfect. Um, now we have we have too much stuff. What can we get rid of um, that we don't care about? Okay, I would love to eat more of this, but I can't really. All right. So if I were to toss, I don't want to do random teleportation right now. Um, I could do this, but that's not actually going to help me out. Let's see. What if I, um, I could basically eat all of my chocolate right now and toss either the climbing gear, but that doesn't sound helpful, or, the, or look, look, let's toss the machetes, okay. And then that, yeah, just says do that, sure, that's fine. Um, I really just want to eat these, but this is a bad plan. No, 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 no. If only you guys would actually eat them, okay. What can I toss that is taking up space that would otherwise be useful? Can I do this? Oh, right, no, no. Don't want to do that. This, ah, uh, okay, so this allows us to, like, distract wildlife. That's kind of useful, actually. Uh, especially with the aggro thing that's happening right now. Um, I really don't want to get rid of anything, but I kind of have to. Okay, we'll get rid of the rope. And then we'll go here. Okay, and then we can enter the mission. We can access the storage room. Yes, 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 yes. Close. Then we can stay overnight and we can barter for that. Perfect. Um, we're still, oh no, we've got, all right. I guess they actually want something. Okay, 
Let's give us, let's uh, butter away a little bit of uh, canned food, or maybe get rid of the temple pendulum. You know what, Leah? Let's get rid of the temple pendulum, and um, that should be about it, really. Um, although we could have gotten shovels, nah. Whiskey is really va. Oh, really? Whiskey is really valuable. But do we care? <laughs> I mean, that's really the fundamental thing. Do we care? Or, like... Okay. So, this is the cheapest item I don't want to get rid of. Or, oh, what if it's one climbing gear and the 20? Yeah, that sounds good. So we can sleep. We can gain a bit of sanity. We could trade. We could sleep again at the cost of one climbing gear. Or we could sleep again at the cost of one whiskey. One whiskey for 30 sanity really safely. Actually, let's do that. So we can, again, stay overnight. Whiskey, sanity, deal. Whoops, didn't mean to drink it, but actually that's fine. Um, and let's leave. And let's continue. He's praying for us. That's nice of him. Okay, we have found another shrine. Use our climbing gear to get up this time. What do we see? More stuff. Also, fire. Also, freezing. <laughs> I kind of find this amusing because we have all of these dueling temple effects. So go this way. Examine the shrine. Oh look, some very angry people. And then we go here, we take again all this stuff. And, um, yeah, this will be fine. Everything is fine. Can't eat those. Let's go up here. Let's see what we can spot. Now, are you desperate enough to eat it? Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Also, we use that other stuff. Also, these guys are chasing us. Also, everything is fine and nothing is ruined forever. Also, there's something up here. Um... So really, I mean, what are we on about? We could go down here. We could, we can definitely use that thing of random teleportation. You guys are gonna keep chasing us because you're jerks. Like that. I'm just gonna head down here for now. Okay, so that kind of limits what can be done there. We could head down here. These guys are definitely gonna attack us, so I kind of have to do something about that. So firstly, Let's eat this. Nope. Fine. Firstly, let's attack some angry natives. Because it's that kind of day. Secondly, Jim, you and your claws are going to do some great work here. I, I can feel it. So, strong claws. Six hit points. So, strong claws, yes. Precise attack on this. This guy, we're just going to shoot dead. Yeah, this native warrior is definitely the next one to go. Precise attack on him. Shield. And this tactical advantage. And round. So. Evade. Haha! -ha! Yes, this is um, not, not your best day, I have to say. Precise attack. Kick him. Or headbutt him. Headbutt, yeah. Better safe than sorry, alright? And yes, yep, that worked out well. And yes, fierce claws. And okay, we've got a red mushroom, which would have been good if any of us were injured. We got a ton of stuff, none of which we want, but I think we may have an... Yeah, okay, I'm going to keep the mushroom, just in case we get injured. And uh, also, I'm going to eat this... Come on, really? You son of a... <laughs> Fine. We'll go one square. And now, eat this. Thank you. Oh look, it's a village. I don't think we want to go there. We are hated. Utterly, utterly reviled by the people of this region. 
and not for not you know without cause either so I can't really complain on that front at least not without you know being somewhat hypocritical you know we'll just eat all of our chocolate and then let's see if we head this way yeah you know what we'll head this way okay so we want to kind of avoid the tiger if possible but I don't think we can so you know what we'll attack the tiger the tigers as it turns out okay so this is strong claws you guys have 14 hit points Oof. shield to know this tactical advantage maybe oh at outstanding tactics maybe all right claw that this taunt um i kind of want headbutt to be honest i'm just gonna keep those kind of in reserve and then let's see we've got this and this point blank that's yeah sure and then let's see this is headbutt on that one this is point blank here and this is one point of shielding and I can roll again okay so that gives me observation which is another point of shielding so I got one tiger okay poor doggo but you know what I think we did the right thing firstly you die you dead good are you this this headbutt yes this this uh yep this ah oh, come on i was hoping for double eyes quick shot and round so you get one claw which doesn't get through good 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 strong fierce claws yes jim you magnificent beast and let us repost Aha! And the tiger is dead. We can take its stuff. Okay. This leaves us slightly overburdened. Which we will get rid of by doing this. Also, lets us use the red mushroom on the dog. And the dog is fine. Great thing about Doggo is uh, the dog will not go crazy. New region discovered. Good. I guess we head this way. Um, you are saying... Okay. Thought I saw Magnetic Mountain, but I don't see one anymore. So... Is it down there? That's really the question. Where the hell are we going? Alright, we'll go over here. Should have banged the bongo. Okay, we can explore and search the area for some equipment including some yep sure so we'll eat the berries everyone loves a good lot of berries i guess we'll also fight the croc i don't really like doing this especially since they have a ton of health fierce claws point blank this strong claws and then repost maybe I'll have you taunt a look out and that's it unfortunately we can't quite kill the croco so I guess they're gonna kill the dog this turn <sighs> poor dog okay so firstly one sword kill the croc it's dead next um, these claws on you this can only get that this is look out and yeah okay fine so we'll do this and we'll kind of roll again point blank good shield and mind is tactical advantage and this is observation and end round and you get claws and teeth and that's not ideal so that's fine because we got our claws again and we got Precise attack and both crocs dead. We can take all your shit and then we are overly burdened again 
Because we just can't stop killing. Oh god, stop the killing all the time. Okay. Now we need... Oh, right. Yeah, so those guys, again, we have ticked off the natives again. Alright, so firstly, let's get drunk. Perfect. Let's also bong the drums. Bang the drums, I should actually say, because, you know, words have meanings. And then we'll dump the meat again, because the meat is useless. And we're going to go get ourselves some malaria. And hopefully we can get this done before people die from their wounds. And they are recovering. They are injured as well. Ah, oh, shit, wait. There. Yes! Okay, we have found the lands we are looking for. So, the majestic golden pyramid rose above its environment. The sweet smell of achievement. However, a gate blocked the entrance. Small openings suggested that we required two artifacts for the gates to open. Fortunately, we have three. So we will become a legend! Okay, so, we came last, almost last. We've never been to the grasslands before. We got to the Golden Pyramid. That's 180 XP right there. It took us almost a year. I mean, two thirds. Close enough for rocket science. So we'll finish this expedition and what do we get? We get Black Market? Nah. Waterproof? Maybe. Protector additional die? I think we'll go with Waterproof. Let's uh, reduce our movement costs again. So Richard Francis Burton comes home, day and fortune returned home. Let's see, we need to make sure we are ahead of that. We have a ton of instruments, none of which we're selling. Okay, so, Tiger Pelt. Sell or gift? Uh, wait, yes, so, fame, uh, no, we will sell it because they are worth way more sold than anything else. And we're actually going to sell these two for similar reasons, but this, the butterflies we collected, we will gift that. We will gift these fancy pants treasures. Oh, look at that. Oh, so much fame. So much fame. We're still behind, though. Still somewhat behind. Um, let's see. How many of these do we have? We've got 16. Um, you know what? We're gonna gift six. I don't know how many I counted. It doesn't look like this is updated. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and then we will gift this, and we will... Oh, wait, this is also worth not much. Whatever. And we'll gift these. All right, there we go. We are narrowly in the lead. <laughs> After all that. Okay, so we caught up. Next time around, we will go on the final expedition for the first time. Until then, and we've got one choice. We have to go to the prehistoric lands, which should be pretty cool. And it's a very golden pyramid, so we, again... We're going to need to, to get in, we're actually going to need to visit particular locations on the map. But I think we've got a pretty good one, and everyone's going to prehistoric lands. So that's where we'll go next time. Until then, have a great day. Bye. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you spending the time and effort watching the videos I make. Uh, if you'd like to watch more, on the left there should be another video from this playlist. On the right there will be whatever YouTube recommends. And in the center there is a convenient subscribe button just in case you need it.